Hello and a warm welcome to Joburg Today. I am Nashina Mohammed, and it's always a pleasure to have you with us. Although Bertrams is known to be one of the poorest suburbs in Johannesburg, there is a local company trying to make a difference there with the help of its community. Although the suburb of Bertrams, located on the eastern edge of Joburg CBD, may not look like much, hidden away are some fascinating locations of interest. It's just a matter of taking a short left to explore. Joburg Today speaks to Craig de la Hop, who provides us with an insight on the suburb's history. Bertrams as a whole was um, for some of the middle management of the miners back in the day. So that's why you've got some of these nice little mining houses, not quite as big as the park town ones, but middle management houses. And um, so it had something to do with the mining and it's also actually known as Old Town. This is one of the oldest parts of town in Joburg which is quite fascinating. So hopefully that's something that can catch on one day. He also shares with us his take on business in the area and his vision for the future. It's mainly about the whole street. This whole street is about the village on Freer and the background of that is the Skills Village 2030. And the other side is an old company called Party Design and that is all about events and decor. So the Skills Village side was about creating cooperatives within the event value chain and through that having independent mechanisms within the eventing system. So when they're big jobs, we can have all these little um, cooperatives providing whatever service is needed. Business hasn't all been easy because the skills development side does take a lot of resources and it's taken a lot of energy and time. Recently we started turning more of the spaces into venues. So we have a theater venue, we have a training center, we've got the firehouse, which is a really great special venue. And um, we actually have 220 individual little spaces here, if you have to count all of them. And we've got this amazing warehouse filled with 35 year collection of props. And um, we've got all the things you need for events. It's been an incubator for some of our resident artists here for 15 years and what's amazing is if you walk around the village you can see some of their art artworks and see how they've grown in the last 10 or 15 years. What's interesting with rejuvenation of spaces is generally it starts with the, the artists and then parties and then the hip crowd who sort of claim that they were the first ones there and then the masses follow. In 20 years from now this place is abundant with people and activities and people coming in for training, people coming in to spend money, people supporting the people that are here who require the service. So it's about this um, street finally thriving. I'm Leroy Viaggi for Joburg Today. Like us on Facebook, JoburgToday.tv, and of course, you can follow us on Twitter at Joburg Today. With more than 30 years in the music industry and still going strong, Mango Groove was recently in Bertrams to shoot their latest music video, and of course, we were also there. Joburg Today was at the shoot of Mango Groove's latest music video from the get-go and spoke to the band's lead vocalist, Claire Johnston, to find out more. Well, there are a few new songs, a ballad called Kind, which um, I can say this because I didn't write it. I think it's the best song John Layden has ever written. <laughs> and doing a song called Get From The Get Go, and that's just crazy. It's mango madness, um, you know, cranked up to, you know, 11. Think ocean, lots of backdrops, lots of props, um, lots of energy from the band. Um, I think at some point I'm going to be a barmaid. Now that takes me back to 1986 where in the song Move Up I was a barmaid. So I don't know why they keep doing this to me. Um, <laughs> but no, it's just going to be fun and, and colourful. It's always lovely having something new to promote and doing new songs on stage. You know, you, you obviously do want to give people what they want. You want to do special star, dance, and more home talk. But it's lovely for us to have to be able to chuck a couple of new songs in and, and kind of keeps it alive for us. We also spoke to the producer of the music video, Gerard Jober, about his choice of location. Uh, we were looking for a, a unique space for the new Manga Groove album to make music videos. And when I came across this, it was just immediately resonated with something truly Joburg. We worked very closely with uh, the owners of this particular street and, and, and particular venue. Um, with long-term goals actually for more music videos, potentially album launch, um, 
and hopefully like we would make people aware of, of, of what's actually happening here in, in, in Bertrands. When asked about the quality of video production in South Africa, he had this to say. I think we stand up uh, against anyone in terms of producing fantastic material. Our budgets are much smaller, but I think that makes for more creative use of you know, uh, your time, uh, creative ideas. I think you know, the smaller your budget is, the more creative you have to be to, to deliver a, a good outcome. I'm Lira Viaggi for Joburg Today. Hi, I'm in Pop Pops Medikwani, and you're watching Joburg Today. And that brings us to the end of this show, but for more coverage on the city, check out our playlist. And that's it from Inoshina. Have a good one. <laughs>